Hey guys, welcome back. Grumpy Gamer Guys, Zaren Chiller here, and we're doing the Yogg's Cast Complete Pack 2. Part 2? Two. Pack 2? Two. Part 2. Yep, that's us back for this. We've been having some fun. We've done a wee bit whilst off screen. We've done a bit of mining. We've done a wee bit of building. And I'll show you what we've done, basically. Everything I've done is pretty much been along the lines of stuff you've seen in previous videos, so I didn't want to bore you with any of that. So yeah, without further ado, uh, we made some more furnaces, more furnaces, making some glass, we cut down the entire forest, we made some carpenter stuff, we've seen the carpenter stuff, we've got some clay, you know what's going to happen with us getting clay, we've got all these seared bricks, so you definitely know what's happening with this. Now, what else have we done? Uh, and here should be iron, there's some iron from the stuff we ground down okay now what we have over here is a building, yes that's right people with torches and the fence around it and we've used the carpenter slopes to make the roof as you can see it's the big building and we've done a wee bit of gardening uh, I haven't come across any sheep yet so that's why I'm growing some wool. Uh, well, I'm growing cotton, which you can turn into wool quite easily. Uh, over here are some essence crops. Let's quickly grab these. Very handy uh, with the seeds. Choo, choo, choo. Okay, they're cool. We can do some funky stuff with them later. Now what I've done is I've made carpenter's doors and they made iron blocks, which is why I don't have so much iron anymore. And they make stores like this. Now what that does is it actually gives them the proportionate strength of iron doors. Which is great, because it means zombies and angry zombies aren't going to get through them so easily. Now what I've also done... Oh, that was a wisp you can see outside. They're very friendly until they start zapping you. What I've done is I've built downstairs. So we'll just climb down. Now basically in here is a big old room with a hole in the centre. And over here we have a secondary room, no use defined for it yet, and a third room over here. Now one of them is going to be an enchanting room. And I'll just quickly grab this iron ore. That I seem to have missed, because I'm clever like that. I'll have to fix that. Right, okay, what have I, what am I doing? Yeah, totally unprepared for this episode. Too busy showing everybody my wonderful new house. Okay. Basically, I've set it up so I've got some gates around so I can actually. Add, oh, my oh, sugar. Right. Okay, right. Uh, wood. 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 Give wood, please. We'll take some wood. Uh, we'll leave that wood, in fact. We'll take the planks because there's plenty. I did clear loads of trees out. Took forever, and a lot of dirt, and a lot of nerd pollen. That noise you can hear is a will-o'-the-wisp, and I hope it's not angry at me. Because they zap something chronic. Okay. Right. Okie doke. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, we're going to make a crafting table into a tool bench because it's just handy having one of these down here. Now where am I putting it? I'm putting it there I think, yeah. So it can access the chest next to it. Cool. Right, I also brought plenty of wood. So... Ah. just thought I do need some of those oak planks, but hey ho, oh. well. for now I suppose that will do, we'll just put them in there, oh, right give me a second I'll go and get some more, ok guys we're back, right, uh, basically, what we need to do is we need to make everything I've brought 
brought uh, lava, I brought all my ores and stuff as well, which were in one of the chests. Now what we need to do is we need to make everything that we need for doing the whole tinker stuff. Now, I know I've done tinker stuff before, but it's just such a good way of getting stuff done. You can you can uh, make axes that have tree capitate on them, which is obviously very handy. Um, Now what I'm doing is I'm just making all the relevant things. I've got a part builder, a tool station, I'm doing a pattern chest, and last but not least we need an old quick startup with a blank pattern on top, and we get a stencil table. Sorry, just muting the, <laughs> muting the stair whilst I was coughing. Right, okay. Right. Brains. Right, what do we want? We want uh, a stencil table, then a pattern chest, then a part builder, then a tool station. And we're going to do them in reverse order just because we're weird like that. There we go. Also, other things we're going to be doing is we're going to be... Ooh. I never saw this before with the Tinker Table. The main way to repair or change your tools. Place the tool and a material on the left to get started. No? Okay. We'll figure that out anyway. It's fun. Right. Um, so, what we need to do is we need to make some normal blocks of sheer bricks. We got sixteen of them straight away. Uh, what else are we going to do? We need to make okay. We're going to make six of them just to be weird. Now we're going to make one, two, three of them. One, two, three of them. We're making a much bigger one here, I've decided. Because, you know, why, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? One, two, three. Oh, we need some more. One, two, three. The smeltery controller. And there's the sear tank that we need. Now, if I remember rightly, we can also do it this way. And we'll get two of them just for the, the look of the thing. Right, well, just in case I'm going to make some more of these. There we go, right, let's get on with this and show you what we're, what we're doing. You've seen this before, we need to make a 3x3 three three square at the bottom for the base, that's important. You need a smeltery controller, I like to place mine about there. You also need your seared tank for putting your lava in. I like to pop that there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab seared glass and I'm going to pop one there and one there just so we can actually see in the front of it. That's all we want to do. Right, down the side. See, already run out of seared bricks. I knew I needed more. That's cool. That's why we've got so much of this. 15. So that's enough to get us going at least. We need 9 more straight away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So that's just got a working one. We'll shovel over in there, it'll actually start doing what we want it to do. But before we continue, I want to go here and I want to place one of. Oh, wrong one. Dunk. No, where did you go? If I stay in there too long, it will actually hurt me. 
I just have to make another one of them. Down there. Down there. Right. Put one of you there. One of you there. Do dunk dunk. Okie doke, folks. I will move you because you're kind of in the way. Oh, move you because you're kind of in the way. Now, apparently if I hit F... Yeah, not that one. F7, right. <laughs> this is bad, right? Red squares on the ground is bad, people. Red squares means that monsters can spawn. That's correct. So... I learned this by watching a video. Now, it will lag you out. It uses a lot of data to to get this. So you have to be very careful, but at the moment let me turn it off. Right, so once it's covered we shouldn't get any mobs spawning in here. Right, okay. I'm going to need to go get some more bricks, but for now what we'll do is we'll get our casting basins. One, two, three, and then we will put a faucet on each of them. And as you can see what I've done around here is I've made it so that I can have my tables right next to the construct stuff and we'll put the faucets on them. Now we've got another one but we won't worry about that at the moment. So there's still plenty of room to get around this. It's not taking up all the room which is makes a change. Especially in this big old room that we've created. Now what I'm going to do is just for the look of the thing I'm just going to put some of these round here. Right, first things First, we need to get some gold. First things first, we need to put some lava in there. We've got two buckets of it here. Oh, kind of handy having a volcano nearby. Right. Okay, and now what we need to do is just pop the gold ore in there. There's the faucet, it fell into it. Right, quick. Yay! Just exactly enough what we needed. Okay, that saves a bit of hassle. <laughs> right, okay, here's a gold ore melting in there. That we use that for making the actual the actual proper stencils for pouring. Um right, we'll just quickly make some more of these. Because we can do, -do. It's only six for now, but that's enough. So we'll make a tool rod. We'll make an axe. A, a pickaxe, of course. And we'll make a binding rod. Pa binding pattern. Now, white guard. I'm actually going to make a weapon as well, which is not like me. Right, store them in the pattern chest. First things first, you've probably seen me do this a mil well, you've seen me do it at least once. That's tool handle, take that out of there, take you out of there, put the cross in there, put the stick that was spare in there. Pop you in there, put the axe head in there. Uh, uh, brain, don't hurt, don't fail me now. Right. Cool. Right, okay, what we need to do is hope we've got enough gold to actually use these. That could be problematic. Cool, that's one down. I don't want to pour it all at once in case I don't have enough gold. Don't want to waste it. Come on, Papa wants a brand new axe head. Yay, we've had enough. Thank goodness. Right. So, oh, whoa, we just had enough there. Right, so what I'm going to do is going to get the iron fired in there, and I think I'm going to pop in. Ferris ore as well that I've picked up. Now that might mix with the gold. 
Now what we can do with these patterns is we can actually store them in the pattern chest. Now these are the ones that can be poured metal, obviously the wood ones don't work, the wood ones would burn. But it's cool, and it means we can make blocks for these, and if we wanted to we could make a big... Ooh. Okay, I have plans. Dum dum dum. Definitely need the iron out here once it's gone. Oh, 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 ah, uh, uh, ooh, I haven't mined any diamonds yet. Okay, cool, that's fine. My brain's ticking over. Molten nickel. Molten nickel, molten invar, and a tiny bit of gold. So what's happened is the invar uh, is the iron that's mixed with the nickel. Which is uh, with the ferrosaur. The ferrosaur turned into nickel. Now, one of these, I think it's tin, pop tin in. Now, the reason we're getting all these funky things, you've seen me use Invar and stuff before, but there's loads more in this. There's apps. This mod pack is just mental. Um, if we just come out here and have a look over here thermal expansion, factorization, uh, there's loads and loads of ores. Now what I was trying to do was I was trying to build a builder's wand, but I think you have to loot them unless you can get an unstable. So you need a division signal, signal activated, a diamond. Now, I've picked these up from witches' things. But I want to make a builder's wand at some point, because it makes building stuff so much easier. Right, we've got the tin in there. Oh, okay. Put the lead in. I'm just trying to make some cool ores. That's all I'm trying to do. Nothing major. I'll put some copper in there as well. At least we know that the copper and the tin will turn to bronze if it doesn't turn to anything else. I do have iron here, which is handy. Oh, that reminds me. Run over it. Do, do, do. Oop. I'll just pop them in there. I want some blocks of iron. They're handy. Right, what do we got? We got molten lead, molten tin, molten nickel, molten inva. We've got a tiny bit of gold. Might as well pop silver in there as well. Right, there we go. Molten bronze, molten inva, nickel, tin, lead. Okay. Heptasian. There we are. There's an interesting one. Hmm. Put some more copper ore in. Oh, no. We'll put some bauxite in. That's what we'll do. Molten silver, copper, lead, tin, nickel, invar, bronze, heptasian. Now oh, wait for this box out. This box out should do something funky here. Box out is basically aluminium. Aluminium, but that's not all. Aluminium, lead, tin, nickel, bronze. Aluminium, brass, nice. Heptasian, bronze, invar, nickel. Do do. Aluminium, brass is basically a nifty way of getting gold for doing the casts. So that's what we've ended up doing. Now, bronze. I'm going to use bronze. Bronze is typically a soft metal, we all know. 
That's how we roll, man. Dunk. 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 Okay, over to the tool station. I've got some friends upstairs. They can stay upstairs. Pickaxe, reinforce one. Mining level redstone. Ah, it's not bad. Not bad. Cool. Right. What do I need for this puppy? I need a stick. Cool. Okay. So I've already got that pattern. I need to make that. That pattern. So I'll make that. And I need to make that pattern. So I get a stick out of that because it's spare. Oh. Oh well, you can stay in there. Right, take you out, take you out, pop you in there. And we will just pop you boys in here. One, two. We'll go over here and we'll click on the aluminium brass. So as you can see the aluminium brass comes out and makes a really nice pattern. So, oh, so I'll put you back in there. Put you back in oh, put you back in there. Right, what material am I going with? That's it, I've had enough. Invar. Right, Invar on the blade. Did I select Invar? Is Invar even a blade material? Mustn't be. Oh well, we'll just go with the bronze again then. Bronze Age, people. We probably can't make them, I was probably clicking on it wrong. Right, because these are just basic bronze ones, we're not going to give them any fancy names, we're just going to make them. And we have broadsword. Right, let's go see who's knocking at the door. Hello? Yvonne calling? Hello? Hello? Will you be my friend? No? Ah. Oh. see, they were knocking at the wrong door. Ooh, 14 damage. Ooh. Hardcore. And a good hat. It's a win-win situation, sir. Cool. Okay, need to make that door down there better. Need to make sure that creeper doesn't get too close. Meh, don't destroy my fence. Go away. Go away. I stole your soul. Meh, they can play with that door. I will sort that out. But anyway, guys, yep. Yeah. As you've seen, we've just uh, oop, we've just made this bad boy, and ooh, how is that? We made this bad boy as well. You can see all the cool liquid effects inside it, and stuff like that. You can actually get blood in there as well. Um, if you close it off, you can actually get monsters to spawn into it, and they'll die, and you get the blood in there, and the blood can be used to make all sorts of weird and wonderful things as well. But yeah, we've done Tinkers, now we've done, no, we've done this before, but I've gone a wee bit more into depth explaining it. Um, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, I know it's uh, we're just getting started, but we've got lots of plans, we're going to go adventuring, so we need some cool weapons. We've now got a cool bronze sword that does lots and lots of damage, which is always a good start. We'll get ourselves some armour made, and we'll also uh, start looking for some dungeony type stuff as well. I think there's pirate ships out in the sea. There's loads of cool stuff. But we'll definitely need some bit of gear and we'll need to get some enchantment done as well. 
But yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, it's been a pleasure to have you here as always. If you've enjoyed it, click that like button, I really do appreciate when you guys uh, show your appreciation. And if you haven't already subscribed, remember we got a 50 YouTube subscriber giveaway going on at the moment, so as soon as we reach that number, we're going to be giving away that cool prize that's in the video. If you haven't seen it, check my other videos out. And thanks for watching guys, uh, I'll catch you all soon, bye bye for now.